You kind of want to change channels when you hear that gospel. Woe to you who are rich and laughing, well off, far highly of. Come on. I've been trying to get to that point for years. Even the first reading. Cursed. Cursed is the person who trusts in human beings and turns aside from God. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Whoa. Whoa. Let me give you a little example of trust in the Lord. Are you familiar with the St. Louis Center out in Chelsea? Yes? No? So that's a facility for adult handicapped folks. Developmentally handicapped folks. Not bad legs and bad backs. Their founder, the founder of the Servants of Charity, the priest and minister there, and by the way, the pastor at Our Lady of Fatima now is one of those priests, Father Satish. I've gotten to know them pretty well in the last couple of months. Their founder, Louis Quinella, in Italy, never had a bank account. I've been reading a little bit about him. There's this beautiful episode where he's got these fellows that have been working on his facility all week long. And the foreman comes up to him and says, uh, so Father, uh, I hope you're ready to pay the boys. We've got about two hours. And Louis Guinella, now St. Louis Guinella, says to the fellow, well, uh, how much do I owe you? 570 lira. How much do you have? I don't have a darn thing. But the Lord will provide it. He's talking with the guy, and a gentleman comes up with an envelope. I think he might need this. 600 years. He passes the envelope right to the foreman. Here you go. Now the foreman said to him, you know, you really should get a bank account. He never did. He was totally reliant on these little miracles. And I must say, I think he was pushing me a bit. <laughs> I want to comment on just one of these messages from Jesus. Blessed are you when people hate you when they exclude and insult you and denounce your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in you for joy. Oh, right. To be hated. To be excluded. You know how deadly that is. To be insulted, to be denounced. Friends, I suppose we've all experienced that sense of everybody shutting up when we walk into the room and realizing you were talking about me. I don't think it was real complimentary. I suppose we've all experienced just feeling excluded. It's terrible. We need one another. We belong. But here's the thing. We are often our own worst enemy when it comes to that when it comes to insults and excluding, 
catch yourself. The next time you say it to yourself, you idiot. You're so stupid. There you go again. I confess, I haven't done deep research on this. But I'm going to assume there's nobody perfect here. And I'm definitely speaking about myself. You know how easy it is to beat yourself up when you're less than perfect. There's a beautiful episode in the life of St. Francis de Sales. There's a letter of spiritual direction to someone, to a fellow. And he wrote to him, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You get so totally upset every time you stumble, every time you make a mistake, every time time you commit a fall. Who do you think you are? We're imperfect people. Now these are my words. We make mistakes. Too often, we get mired and mired in them. Too often we start, struggle to come to God for forgiveness because we won't forget ourselves, forgive ourselves. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. When you're hated and excluded and insulted and denounced. And get behind it. And recognize that even in the midst of our failures, even in the midst of our crashing self disappointments, the Lord loves us. And this is the most amazing thing. The Lord uses the likes of us, imperfect people, to build the kingdom of you. May God bless us all.